Hi, this is Freya with another edition of How to Sing That Song. I'm so glad you tuned in today. Well, today I want to talk about a song that's out of a different genre than what I have been doing. I am really big on singing different genres. It's really fun and it really can expand your horizons. So today I'm going to talk about a jazz standard piece that is sung as a jazz standard. It's originally out of a show, which a lot of jazz standards are. Um, my Funny Valentine. It's a great song. Now it has this first part, which I'm gonna leave out. Nobody knows it. So we're just gonna take care of the main part, which starts with My Funny Valentine. It's kind of a melancholic piece, so I'm gonna do it in A minor, which is the key that I would be singing it in. And since it's a jazz standard, you can freely pick which key. And there's probably tons of karaoke versions out there. But of course, the best would always be to be accompanied by someone or to accompany yourself. So it's always great to play an instrument or to know someone who can. So it starts kind of melancholic. Now the important thing is that you have this very smooth voice color and also very legato, which means very connected, like this. And dynamic levels change quite a bit. And it needs to have this very floating quality. My funny valentine Sweet comic valentine smile with your heart okay smile with my heart of course but you see how smooth it is and how the dynamic level changes you make me smile it opens up here with my heart and then it goes back down so you need to practice very smooth transitions between be, uh, being a little bit more chesty and present and pingy on the top notes there and to be a little bit more breathy, relaxed, laid back, a little bit more open vocal cords on the lower passages here. And it's a very smooth transition the whole time. It's a great exercise for connecting for legato. Your looks are laughable And also your breath Take your time, there's tons of time here Unphotographable Yet you're my favorite work of art You see how it goes up and kind of swells and then it comes down but very smoothly very much subtle it's not this sudden change it's this very subtle change that's like swells up and then slowly goes down again is your figure less than greek is your mouth a little weak when you open to speak are you smart but see how you connect those phrases as the chords connect the actual musical phrases it's like it it has this top where there's a lot of tension and then it resolves into this harmony that just is more consonant than dissonant. It goes from more dissonant to consonant. Listen to this here. As this, uh, when you open up you to speak, are you smart? It's clear that this is not, this is not the end. Yes. It just wants to go there. And I always tell students, it's really important here. Very important musical principle. And that's why I'm so big on doing old music, like jazz standards and even classical pieces, just because you learn so much musically about phrasing and about how music 
works about the dissonances and consonances and you know resolving something it's so important to build and resolve build and resolve it it relaxes and it builds and it relaxes so here it's the same way it has some of those chords that are more dissonant like the this is like a diminished diminished and then it's an augmented so these are all kind of have a lot of flavor and then this here again but don't it's kind of like you want to go there you want to go to that but don't here it's like you know it's supposed to go somewhere and I always tell students I always do this um, I do I always do this exercise to where or I show my students in I sing something and then I go from one chair to the next chair da -da 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 -da. And it's always like this, you need to have like a, an end point in mind. You're looking at something and while you are singing the musical phrase, you are aiming for that end there where it resolves. You're aiming, you're aiming, you're aiming, you're aiming and then you arrive there. So it's always this, you go there, you go there, there's motion, movement, movement, movement and then you get there. Now, there's a point where you have arrived and that's how you actually do musical phrasing it's always you have the whole phrase in mind it's just like when you're speaking you have the whole phrase in mind that you're gonna say and that's gonna determine the way you're saying the whole sentence or the whole passage that you're gonna talk about just because you have the whole thing in mind and it makes a shape you go da 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 so that's very important and that's what makes it interesting you're not gonna listen to someone who goes like so monotonous and it's all the same so you don't know where there's a beginning and where there's an end there's no up and down and there's no faster or slower and there's no beginning and end point and it's just like all very much the same and nobody's gonna listen anymore because they're gonna wander off with their minds right so you want to really really have this phrasing is so important so here we go like with this no change a hair for me not if you me now it builds up stay little valentine stay each day is a valentine's day so I mean, in this song, you can have a little bit of a dirty color in there. But the most important thing is that it does stay emotional or it, it gets emotional by using the different voice colors and by having this phrasing of you know where you're gonna go and it builds and it builds and then it relaxes and it builds and it builds and it relaxes. That is the most important principle right here. Also, the different voice colors help you build. Whenever you have this very breathy, very relaxed, very kind of light color, it has a more relaxed feeling to it. And of course, when you get more chesty on the top, stay, it's much more tense there. It has so much more tension than it has in there. And connecting those different voice colors, that's what you can practice with a piece like this. And that's why I think it's wonderful to do standard pieces like that. So I hope you are trying to sing the song or something similar like that. I think it's an awesome piece. It's very emotional. It's very beautiful. Hope this helped you a little bit. Well, don't forget to tune back in on Thursday for another Q&A. And of course, on Friday for another Freya singing tips, which is every Friday. And uh, yes, I also have the podcast. If you love podcasts and you love to listen to singing tips just on the go, where you don't have a lot of bandwidth and you just want to listen to audio, not you can't do video, just go to iTunes and you can just type in Freya singing tips or Freya Casey and you will find my podcast there. So check it out. Thanks for watching today and uh, have a wonderful day. And don't forget, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye.